this program on procedure for issue of shares. In the first part, we had learnt about amount determination in the issue of shares and the various approvals and sanctions that we would have to obtain before issuing the shares. In the second part, we learnt about the prospectus and the filling up of the share application form. In this third part, we will be learning about the role of the banker and the role of the company secretary. But first, let's concentrate on the role of the banker. Let's talk to Mrs. Vandana Deshpande, who herself is a chartered accountant. These bankers also appoint banks and their branches to collect the share application money. The names of these banks and the branches is printed on the share application form. The retail investor can directly or through the share broker invest in these shares by filling up this application form and paying the money, depositing the money into these specified banks. Now how to pay this money? You have to pay the money by a crossed account pay check or a bank draft drawn in favor of the company's escrow account. He gets a receipt or acknowledgement for this payment he has made. Now what is this escrow account? Escrow account is the property or money held by third party until the obligation specified in the agreement is fulfilled. Here in this case the share application money is deposited in the escrow account but the company cannot use it till the time of allotment of shares the money in the escrow account. The collecting bank informs the company from time to time about the status of the escrow account so as to know whether the, the share issue is undersubscribed or oversubscribed. Once the duration of the IPO is over, the banks collect all the has highlighted the importance of banks as an institution which play such a major role in helping us getting across to investors not just locally but from all across the globe. Now let us try and examine what is the role of a company secretary in the procedure for issue of shares. Let's talk to Mr. Mahesh Athavle. Company secretary's job starts right from day one that is understanding the whole concept of the issue. What would be the objectives of the issue? What would be the size of the issue? At what price the issue would be made? And various appointment of agencies is also very critical. And as we all know, the company secretary has to play a role of a coordinator, a role of a convener of various meetings, maintaining minutes of all these meetings, be the meeting be between a merchant banker and the issuer, meetings between auditors, merchant bankers, legal advisors, registrars, various agencies. There are, as I said, more than seven to eight agencies. Number one, lead manager, legal advisor, auditor, the issuer company itself, then the printer, then advertiser, bankers to the issue, share transfer agent and registrar, stock exchanges, SEBI, and IPO in order to make it a successful process. There has to be a very, very excellent coordination understanding between all these agencies even if one agency fails to perform the whole issue may get affected company secretary's role as i said starts from sitting with the management participating in the board meetings to define the layout of the prospectus which is a very vital document and as we all know there is a golden rule 
about prospectus. The prospectus should contain truth, whole truth and nothing but the truth. And therefore, company secretary has to be well versed with the provisions of company law, various other laws and he has to ensure that the facts stated in the prospectus are properly reflected. The drafting of risk factors is also very, very critical. Make all disclosures, complete the draft prospectus, go to SEBI, submit the same to SEBI, seek views of the SEBI. SEBI will come out with its observations. They may ask you to amend the prospectus. And then company secretary has to ensure that uh, whatever SEBI has suggested is properly incorporated. Then you have to attach material contracts, material documents as has been disclosed in the prospectus and make a full set of final document. With that, one has to go to the registrar of companies, file all those papers, get his acknowledgement and then the final document called prospectus is ready. Once that is ready, then it is to be given for printing. One has to finalize share application forms, prospectus copies will have to be printed and then you have to distribute it as per the norms of the stock exchanges. Then company secretary has to ensure that proper statutory advertisements are issued. The consents of these advertisements are also prescribed. The average prospectus has to be uh, has to be published. See the whole activity has to be very properly monitored. What is to be done within 10 days, within 15 days, within 30 days, within 60 days, everything has to be properly planned. Uh, as we normally understand, there is a perfect tool called PERT, Program Evaluation and Technique. That PERT chart has to be prepared and one has to monitor it properly. Going back to our process, once we are ready and everybody is aware of the prospectus, the contents of the prospectus, then one has to start with the road shows. And there you may appoint uh, public relation agencies, advertising agencies who would organize brokers meetings, investors forums meetings, and everywhere one has to tell about the company, but again don't forget the golden rule, truth, whole truth and nothing but the truth. Coming back to the role of company secretary, once this is done, he has to give that data to the stock exchange. Stock exchange will decide the basis of allotment. Accordingly, share transfer agent would complete the allotment. He will credit the shares to the respective DMAT accounts of the successful applicants and the shares would be available to the investors, they can sell, buy and do further with the shares once the listing is done. So this is the whole process and as I said company secretary has to be there every minute, every step. you may have gathered from Mr. Mahesh Athawle so far. A company secretary is the conscience keeper of a company. He plays a very critical role in ensuring legal compliance during the whole procedure for issue of shares. So what did we learn in this third part? We learned about the role of the banker and the role of the company secretary. In the next fourth part and the final part, we will be learning about allotment of shares
more information on this program, please write to us at the following.